It's another video. Now whenever you like change up your makeup just a little bit and it just is that like push over the edge and you're like, wow, I really am a bad period. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Hannah, I'm a professional hairstylist and on this YouTube channel we talk about everything beauty. So, if you guys like this video, you know the drill. If you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Click that subscribe button. The thumbs up button helps very much. And if you guys would like to, you can comment below. Have a little convo with me. All of my social media is linked in the bio. It's been so long since I've sat down for a video. Something just hit my window and I don't know what it was. Anyways, for today's video, we're gonna talk about hair appointments. Obviously, I am at a new salon in Florida. Everything has been going so good because basically all of my clients right now are new clients or people that I've never met. Today, we're gonna talk about your hair appointment and what you need to do to prepare for that appointment. This means before your appointment and not when you sit down in the chair, okay? Okay, this kind of is gonna be tailored around hair color more so. The same rules kind of apply for haircuts as well, but your consultation is gonna be the most important part of your appointment. I think that educating yourself on how to communicate what you want and what you don't want to your stylist is super, super important. If it does help you, let me know in the comments. So I'm not just sitting here wondering if this information is making any sense to you guys. Obviously, if you are watching this video, you probably have a hair appointment coming up or you are looking for a new salon or you're just curious or you feel like maybe when you have hair appointments, what you ask for doesn't really get through to your hairstylist and your end results aren't exactly what you were asking for. So I really hope that this helps kind of clear things up. Okay, so let's start from the very beginning. So obviously you are getting ready for your hair appointment, whether you are finding a new salon or you already have someone that you go to, you wanna prepare for that appointment. Whether you're wanting to make a big change or not a big change, it's really important that you know how to communicate that with your stylist. So the first really big thing is make sure that you are going to a hairstylist that does consultations. Meaning your hairstylist sits down with you, they ask a lot of questions whether it's annoying or not, they go over different techniques, shades, just make sure that you're going to a hairstylist that is actually listening. So if you already have a hairstylist, then that is fantastic. I think this still applies. You still want to be able to communicate to that hairstylist, whether you've never seen this hairstylist or whether you've seen them five times by now. A consultation is always important. You need to be able to tell them what you like and what you don't like. If they did something last time that you really weren't comfortable with or you felt like not your style or you want to kind of tweak a little bit, you should be able to tell them, hey, can we try something else this time or what you did last time was perfect. I feel like when I have an in-depth consultation with a client, I feel like I can make sure that they're on the same page as I am and I'm on the same page as they are. And sometimes I get those clients that have unrealistic expectations and that's when I can kind of give them more realistic expectations. So at the end of their appointment, they're not like, wait, this looks nothing like the inspiration picture I sent you or this is nothing what we talked about. If you're a hairstylist watching this and you have trouble with consultations, I will definitely be doing a consultation video soon. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so before you even make an appointment, I think the most important thing as well is to do your research. So what you need to be looking for is, do they do hair that is your style? Do they do more long hair? Do they do more pixie cuts? Do they do more fashion colors? Do they do more blondes? Do they do more brunettes? You really want to look at their work. By now, every hairstylist should have some type of portfolio, whether that's on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, or at least a salon page. What should you be bringing for that consultation? Pictures are always great. They're always something that we appreciate, but at the same time, um, in the world we live in, 
Filters are a thing. Sometimes hairstylists will filter pictures. Whether you do that or not, that is your thing. I personally do not because I don't want to give unrealistic expectations of what the hair that I'm putting out looks like. Sometimes inspiration pictures can be filtered and it's not actually the shade that is in the picture, if that makes sense. So um, definitely be careful with that. Sometimes if I do see a filter, I will kind of point that out. But the more pictures, the better. I think the best thing to do is get those pictures before your appointment. Nothing is more annoying than a client that is looking for inspiration pictures during her consultation because then at that point it's already the start of your appointment. Most salons are on a tight schedule or they are on a time schedule, you have a time slot for your appointment. If you are sitting there looking at pictures, trying to find your picture during your appointment, that's gonna push us back in our consultation, which is gonna push your appointment later, which is also gonna mess up the rest of my day. So the best thing to do is find an inspiration picture before your appointment. I think the best thing to do is find it even a couple days before your appointment, just so that you have time to look back at it and say, do I still want this? Because sometimes, just as females, we're indecisive. Or we're, we're not really sure if this is gonna look good on us or not and we'll change our mind. So it's best to kind of sit on the idea a little bit of an inspiration picture and make sure that's really what you want before your appointment. After you have your inspiration picture, really break it down. A lot of the times people will look at hair on a model and see the model with the hair rather than the hair on the model. A lot of people will look at the entire look rather than just the hair. Sometimes you need to cover their face and say, okay, would this look good on me? Just because you want JLo's hair color doesn't mean you're going to look like JLo. We are not magicians. We are not doing Botox. We are not doing facial reconstruction. So really make sure you're looking at the hair and not who's wearing the hair. What I like to do whenever people show me inspiration pictures is break down the hair. So I will first look at their roots. Are they rooty? Is their highlights all the way to the roots? Are they completely bleached out? If you're looking for a rooty look, you want to look at rooty pictures. If you're looking for more of a really soft, subtle brunette, you want to look at soft, subtle brunette. The next important thing I would say would be to ask questions. If there's anything that you are confused about or the process or the upkeep or anything like that, even the cost, make sure you ask at the consultation. It is part of our job to kind of educate you as well. If there is a certain upkeep that we need to see you back every six weeks, or if there are certain take homes that we need to be giving you. Everything that you need to maintain this color should be talked about. I think it is definitely important for you to be very open to suggestions as well. Let's say your inspiration picture is super, super blonde. It's gonna be a heavy, heavy foil and your lifestyle doesn't really match up to that and she knows that. So let's say you're a busy mom and you only get to get your hair done every eight to ten weeks if you're lucky and you want to be super super blonde but you also want to have that soft grow out sometimes it's better to do more of like a rooty look or a root shadow and we will tell you that you know if you your lifestyle isn't really matching up to the maintenance of the color that you're wanting. Sometimes we will kind of suggest maybe a different look. It's not us telling you what to do whatsoever, but nothing is worse than getting super heavy foiled blonde or something really high maintenance and then you not being able to come in to kind of maintain that. And then, you know, in six, seven weeks, you are having like a harsh line or you're getting super brassy. So I think that's extremely important to be open. The same goes for any type of budget. I personally um, really respect whenever people tell me straight up like this is the price range that I'm wanting to stay in. And I can kind of work with that. I can give you realistic ideas of what I can do in that price range. With that being said, you also need to budget in how many times you're gonna have to get your hair done in order to 
either maintain that inspiration picture or to get to that inspiration picture. Obviously, there are scenarios where we get inspiration pictures that are not doable in one service. So your consultation is gonna be huge. So definitely be ready for that cons consultation. Be ready with any questions, any concerns, any budgets. So I get a lot of questions about how you should have your hair going into your appointment. There is kind of a myth, I guess you would say, that it's best to have your hair dirty for your appointment. And I wouldn't necessarily say that that is false, but I also wouldn't necessarily say that it's true. What that really means is if you're gonna have a color service especially, it is best to not wash it at least 24 hours before your appointment, just so that you have a little bit of natural oils in there. But at the same time, do not come to your hair appointment with so much oil on your head that we can't put a foil in your head or run our fingers through it or anything like that. That is just, wash your hair. Oily hair gets so, so slippery. Sometimes it can be harder for the product to break through as well if there is too much oil on your hair. So just kind of keep that in mind. Don't come in with really nasty hair. That is just not cute. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them below. If you feel more comfortable, you can DM me on my Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this helped you for your next hair appointment. All right, guys. Bye.